Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the best sleeping positions after total knee replacement surgery. I'm Dr. Wong with Next Level Physical Therapy and this channel is dedicated to helping people like you get out pain naturally without the use of medications, injections, or necessary surgery. One of the most important factors that determine how fast you recover is sleep. Your body recovers the most during this time and if you don't get enough of it, your energy levels will be affected and the rehab process just becomes more difficult. Your surgeon might have a specific sleep position that they want you in after surgery and for those specific situations, you definitely want to follow your surgeon's protocols. However, if you don't have specific guidelines from your surgeon on sleeping positions, we're going to go over the best practices. The first position that we're going to be talking about is sleeping on your side. One of the most common questions we get asked in a clinic is do I sleep on the surgical leg on the bottom or all the way around? And the answer is, it really depends on what gives you the better quality of sleep. If you were to sleep on the surgical side, what you want to do is place a pillow between the knees to keep the hips, knees, and ankles aligned. You can keep the surgical knee bent or straight depending on your comfort level. Ideally, you don't want a pill that's too soft or small, otherwise the top leg can roll over or the weight of your top leg can flatten the pillow and cause misalignment of the joints. If your bed is soft and you find yourself sinking in, you might want to put a small pillow under your waist to keep your spine in a neutral position. You can also stack some pillows and put under your top arm to prevent it from rolling over. Some of you can't tolerate this position because the surgical knee is just way too sensitive, so another position you can try is what I call the quarter turn. For this position, you will still have the pillows in the same place to keep the hip, knees, and ankles aligned. The only difference is that your body is turned in a diagonal to offset pressure on the bottom leg. When you're in this position, you can also use a pillow behind your back to ensure that you're protected from both ends of your body. If you're not a side sleeper, another option is sleeping on your back. Now the main thing to be aware of in this position is when you sleep on your back, you want to support the surgical knee without causing a knee flexion contracture. A knee flexion contractor is when a knee is stuck in a bent position. The way you prevent this from happening is by putting a pillow not just under the knee but also under the calf as well. Something else you might want to consider in the sleeping position is swelling management. One of the best ways you can do that is get a wedge in conjunction with the pillow position that we just mentioned. In this position, your knee is fully supported and because your feet is higher than your hips, the swelling in your knee will slowly decrease. Then you have your leg like a bottle of water. The top part is the hip, the middle part is your knee, and the cap is your feet. There's going to be more pressure in the knee because of the post-surgical swelling and inflammation. When you elevate the leg like so, you're allowing gravity to do its job to get the fluid out of the feet, the knee, and back towards the hips. If you're in this position before bed, I would throw on an ice pack or heat pack around the knee area to further relax the muscles. The next position that we're going to address is stomach sleeping. This is usually not the most common position people sleep in after surgery because they have a hard time tolerating long periods of pressure on the knee incision site. If you were to sleep on your stomach, I would support the whole leg from the thigh down into the shins. Make sure the pillows are not too thick so you won't hyperextend the low back and have pressure there. You want the leg slightly elevated where the foot is above hip level for swelling management. If you have a soft bed, you might want to put a pillow under your torso so you don't sink in. So we just went through the best sleeping positions after total knee replacement surgery. The most important thing to keep in mind is to choose the one that works best for you and that gives you the maximum sleep quality. In the grand scheme of things, sleep is just one piece to the puzzle to maximize your knee rehab. You still have to do your exercises, nourish your body with quality food, work with your physical therapist, and of course, follow your surgeon's protocol. If you have any questions, please comment below and my team will get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you found these videos helpful, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on our weekly videos. As always, move better, age stronger, and I'll see you on the other side.